Today we are going to learn about JSON to HL7 conversion in MERT. We can convert easily from HL7 to JSON, PDF and CSV. While we are converting from JSON to HL7, we will be getting lot of errors and I will explain you why. Let's start converting from JSON to HL7. Here is a sample message, uh, a JSON message, how it looks and an HL7 message, how it looks. We are going to convert this particular JSON message. Take all these fields the patient name, last name and date of birth and move it to this particular HL7 message fields. So let's start creating this. I'll go back to Mirth and I'll click right click and click on new channel. You should be in the channel section. I'll click on new channel and I'll give it as something JSON to HL7 raw. And I even let you know why I have given the name raw over here. I'll go to the tags and I'll give something known as tutorials. Okay, it's your wish. You can tag it uh, whatever you want. I have tagged it for a specific reason. I'll change save this channel and I'll deploy this. Perfect, right? In the dashboard, we can see now JSON to HL7 draw. In the channel section, I created a lot of channels here to avoid confusion. Confusion in the filter. Filter. I'll just click on. Tutorials 2, the tag which I was given. Now, see, it's very clean. The dashboard is JSON to HL7 raw. The channel section is JSON to HL7 raw. Perfect. Let's start working on this. I'll double click on it. I'll go to source. And in the source, I give it as channel reader. In the destination, I'll give it as channel writer. So, as I'm doing everything inside the MERT, uh, I am not using any external application to show the changes from JSON to HL7. I'm only choosing channel reader and writer. So, in the summary, this is a very important part. In a data type section, you should always make sure you are selecting JSON over here. And even in the source connector, JSON because I am doing changes in my destination connector, destination transformer. So here, I'll be not selecting JSON, but I'll be selecting it as raw. Why raw means uh, we are trying to convert from JSON to HL7 in a complete big string of HL7. So the math will understand it as a raw format, not an HL7 format. So I selected it as raw and the response, it's your wish, whatever response you want to select, uh, you can select it. It uh, doesn't matter at all. I'll just leave it as raw, not an issue. So this is very important part. I'll click OK. I'll go to destination and I'll click on edit transformers. I'll add a new step. I'll click on JavaScript. JavaScript is always easy to do a lot of things. For the coding part, I made it very easy for you people. I already given the code in the GitHub format so I'll be copying this code and I'll explain you how this works I'll copy paste it over here and this is a sample message uh, which I already copy pasted over here to make sure uh, you can run this sample message I even just commented out you can uncomment and use the sample message also yep let's go to the coding part here I created a very big string with the variable known as HL7 message you can see it is uh, a list of uh, all details with the HL7 uh, content over it. So all the details have been hard coded before the sending application, sending facility and everything. So when you look into this code, whatever details are in the patient first name, I just add it over here. For example, in the PIT5, I added this MSG and patient first name in this format. You might be asking what is MSG? Whatever format of JSON you are sending right it will be converted into the variable of MSG and it will be sent to source to destination so always your complete message will be in the single three letters alphabet so MSG is nothing but the complete content inside that uh, diagnosis is nothing but this particular content here, here you can see MSG patient first name so inside the MSG this is the patient and this is the first name I just added those uh, keywords over here so that we'll get the output and for the date I just use date.util function to add the current date you can use your own date format and your wish so this code is not at all complicated it's very simple and easy at the end of the section I used it dot join and the carry return function to make sure everything uh, joins together without any issues and at the end the whole code again I added to MSG variable. As I said, MSG is nothing but the complete message. Now, before the MSG was in this pattern, now the MSG will be in this pattern. So I'm just sending the output in the MSG variable.
so it's very very uh, simple code uh, i'm just taking the complete hl7 message and adding the field from json over here and as i said it is a raw pattern so this complete hl7 message would be mirth will be thinking that this is raw but we are confusing mirth and uh, trying to send the complete hl7 message let's see how it works i'll go back to channel save this and i'll deploy this perfect and here you can see no message has been sent. This is a fresh channel. And I'll go back and I copy this particular JSON. And I'll right click, send message. That's it. So when I'm sending this, you can see there are zero messages. And you can see John Doe 1985 and all the details. I'll process this. When I refresh, yeah, one message has been received. I'll be clicking on destination. In the destination part, you can see this is the raw message and it has been transferred to HL7 message and it has been sent without any issues and we got the message from channel writer that it has been successfully sent. I'll copy this and I'll place it in the notepad just for our understanding. You can see uh, the John is copied over here and the date of birth is copied over here and uh, yeah the gender and the fever everything is copied over here and intentionally i left the last name i haven't given anything over here for our assignment let's go ahead and do how to add uh, another uh, json fee json uh, string in the same field we need to add it over here so we'll go back to mirth channels json.hl7 destinations edit transformer here if you look there is a specific pattern to add anything. So if you are adding any field from JSON, we are adding inside the double quotes, two double quotes. And before adding something, we will give the plus symbol. And at the ending, we'll be giving plus symbols. So every pattern has the same thing. Double quotes, plus symbol, and uh, the content in between. I'll just copy this. And I'll give a space. And I'll add it again. So here, it's patient first name. So patient first name. We want last name. So I'll just copy this last name and I'll be adding inside this. So I just gave some space. You don't need to add something like comma here. If you want a comma, you can add. If you don't want comma, you don't need. So uh, before first name and last name, I don't want anything. Just a small space. So we even add the last name. Let's see. In the output, we should get something like John Doe if we are sending the same string once again. I'll go back, I'll save changes, I'll deploy this, and I'll go. I want to send a message. So what I'll do, I'll take the same JSON format, and I'll paste it over here. To make it interesting, I want to send Sachin as a first name, and Tendulkar as the last name. And we can even identify that the two messages are different. I'll process this. I'll refresh. Yep. The message has been sent. And we'll go to destination. You can see in the destination, Sachin Tendulkar is the JSON which we are trying to send. And it has been transformed to Sachin Tendulkar. See the major difference between this? We have only the first name. Here we have first name and last name. Similarly, uh, the same JSON, you can do a lot of changes, a lot of changes and edit it as per your requirement. You can add more segments if you want. You can add only less segment. You can add a lot of functions like this. So this is a very, very simple and a clear way of converting from JSON to HL7 without any issues. As always, uh, JSON will be not having all the fields. So you can create your own fields in HL7 because JSON will not be having this uh, symbols, the sending application, everything. So you can create your own a message segment uh, and pet DG1. It would be very, very easy. So today we have been achieved JSON to HL7 conversion without uh, any issues in a very simple and plain format. Let's uh, comment and let us know if you have any better solution. Thank you.